Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, we have talked about plotting irrational numbers on a number line. If you haven't watched that video, please click the suggested video above. For this video, we are going to talk about your 10th module in quarter 1, Mathematics 7, that is all about scientific notations and solving problems involving real numbers. Our first lesson is all about how to write numbers in scientific notations. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notifications. Scientific notation simplifies the way we write very large and very small numbers in a compact form. The primary components of a number written in scientific notations are as follows. C which is any number from 1 to 10 or any number greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10 but not including 10. This is the coefficient or the numerical coefficient multiplied by 10 raised to n where 10 is always the base, base of 10 and n must be an integer, and n is also the exponent of base 10. So in a nutshell, scientific notation is composed of a number part called coefficient, or c, a number greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10, a number with base 10 raised to an integer power n. The following are common numbers written in scientific notation. Try to see if you can find some pattern. The common name is 1 million. The decimal form is 1 million. The power of 10 is 10 raised to the negative 6. And the scientific notation is 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the negative 6. Let's try 1. In decimal form is 1, the power of 10 is 10 raised to 0, and the scientific notation is 1 multiplied to 10 raised to 0. Let's try 1000. 1000 in the power of 10 is 10 raised to 3, and scientific notation is 1 multiplied to 10 raised to 3. If you can notice, for the negative exponents, the number in the exponent corresponds to the decimal numbers or the numbers to the right of the decimal point. For positive exponents, the number in the exponent corresponds to the number of zeros of the number. Here are the steps in writing decimal numbers into scientific notation. Step 1. Identify the initial location of the original decimal point. Step 2. Identify the final location or destination of the original decimal point. The final location of the original decimal point must be directly to the right of the first non-zero number. Step 3. Move the original decimal point to its final location. You will get a number here called C. Its value must be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. When the decimal is moved towards the left, the count for the exponent of base 10 should be positive. When the decimal is moved towards the right, the count for the exponent of base 10 should be negative. And for step 4, write C multiplied by some power of base 10. It should look something like this. C multiplied by 10 to the nth exponent. Let's have an example of how to write decimal numbers into scientific notation. This is an example of positive power. We write the given decimal number 3800 in scientific notation. For a solution, we start by identifying where the original location of the decimal point and its new location. Our given is 3800 and the location of the decimal point is at the end. Remember that any whole number has an invisible decimal point at the end. 
that is the original decimal point, and the new location of the decimal point should be between 3 and 8. Now, we move the decimal point from the starting point to its final destination while counting the number of decimal places. Remember the rule, if the decimal is moved towards the left, the count for the exponent of base 10 is positive. Now let's have our given. First, we count the number of decimal places. We move 3 places to the left. That makes our value of c as c is equal to 3.8 and the power of 10 is 3. Putting them together in the required format, our final answer is 3.8 times 10 raised to 3 or 3 and 8 tenths multiplied to 10 raised to 3. Always remember to make sure that C value always has the decimal point right after the first digit, which is the case here. Let's have another example for positive exponent. We write the given decimal number. 43 trillions, 335 billions in scientific notation. For our solution, the starting decimal point is on the far right. We need to move it to the left until we have a decimal number between 1 and 10. Let's have our given number. Our decimal point is located at the end of the number. It starts here. Then we find the destination of the decimal point that is between 4 and 3 and the decimal ends there. Moving the decimal from right to left implies that the power of 10 will have a positive integer. Again, let's have our given number. First, we count the number of decimal places. We will move the decimal point to the left by how many places? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We moved 13 decimal places to the left. The value of the coefficient is C is equal to 4.3335 and the power of 10 becomes 13. Therefore, the final answer of our scientific notation is just 4.3335 times 10 raised to 13 or 4 and 3,335 ten thousandths multiplied by 10 to the 13th exponent. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Now, let's have an example of writing decimal numbers into scientific notation in the negative power. Let's rewrite 5 10 thousandths in scientific notation. It is obvious that the original decimal point is to the left of the non-zero digit. We will move the decimal going to the right. The rule states that when the decimal is moved towards the right, the count for the exponent of base 10 should be negative. Let's have our given number. Our decimal point in its original location and then to the right of 5, which is a non-zero number, that will be the new location of the decimal point. Moving the decimal point to the right should yield a negative exponent for the base 10. First, we count the number of decimal places. We move 1, 2, 3, 4 places to the right. The value for coefficient is C is equal to 5 and the power of 10 is negative 4. Our final scientific notation answer should be 5 multiplied to 10 raised to negative 4. Let's have another example. We write the given decimal number in scientific notation. The given decimal number is less than 1, so we expect to move the decimal point towards the right such that it stops after the first non-zero digit. Here is our given number. The decimal point starts here and then the decimal point must end here because 1 is the first non-zero digit. 
Let's move the decimal point to the right and it should accumulate a negative power of 10. First is we count the number of decimal places. From its original location, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is 12 decimal places to the right. We have a coefficient value of C that is equal to 1.134 and base 10 value of 10 raised to the negative 12. This gives us a scientific notation of 1.134 times 10 raised to the negative 12 or 1 and 134 thousandths multiplied to 10 raised to the negative 12. That's it. I hope you learned the basics of how to write a decimal number into its scientific notation form. Now let's try to convert scientific notation to standard notation or the vice versa of our previous examples. For first example, let's try to convert 3.456 multiplied by 10 raised to 4 in standard notation. Our solution, let's rewrite the given numbers or the given scientific notation then we expand 10 raised to 4 that is equal to 10,000 the answer is 34,560 or since you're multiplying a power of 10 positive just move the decimal point or units to the right let's have our scientific notation then we write the numerical coefficient c and we move the decimal point four units to the right because the exponent is four. One, two, three, four. Since we do not have a number for the extra slot, we put or we affix zero and then the decimal point. Our final answer is 34,560. Let's have another example to convert 3.456 multiplied by 10 raised to the negative 4 in standard notation. Our solution, let's have our scientific notation. Then, we expand 10 raised to the negative 4, that is a decimal number, 1 ten thousandths. Our final answer is 0 0.0003456. Or since you're multiplying a power of 10 negative, just move the decimal point 4 units to the left. Let's have our scientific notation, our numerical coefficient c, and then we move the decimal point 4 units to the left. For empty slots, we just affix zeros, and that is our final answer. I hope you have learned a lot in our lesson today. If you have any questions or suggestions or any topic that you want me to discuss about, you can comment it below. For my next video, I am going to talk about the same topic. It is all about converting standard notation to scientific notation, but the shortcut, how to solve like a pro. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.